Tee at 16, listen to the crowd. Tiger's got 152 yards, should be just a nice, comfortable nine iron for him. They're gonna go nuts when he hits this thing. <laughs> ovations at a golf tournament you will ever hear. A second ago, Tiger Woods at the yeah! 316. with all of the carryovers, it now is worth $175,000. If you have a good memory, Fuzzy Zeller won 140 here with a 26-foot putt last year. Trevino has the honors since he won the skin at 12. Six iron, skin. right in line with the flag. Could be stiff. It can't get any prettier than that. I said it might be stiff. Hey, Mitch, <laughs> come in here. Hey, Mitch, Santa Claus is coming today. Hey, huh? There he is. It's him. It's him, man. <laughs> nice call, man. Congratulations. It's Jared Lyle. It's an eight iron. Fame partner at number 16, but if they did, Lyle would go in. Yeah, maybe they should. There haven't been a whole lot of aces they there. They should have a wall over there with uh, the guys who've aced it. That's the first hole in one at 16 since, since Sposa did it. Mike yeah. Sposa in 2002. And he is. Hal Sutton was the first to do it. Of course, everybody remembers Tiger Woods. And it's going to 
to get down. <laughs> now I'm real curious as to where that ends up on those top 10 highlights on the other network. <laughs> when this day is done and everybody's dunked and done their thing in basketball, that'll be right near the top. Forever a hero at number 16, Jared Lyle. And they were out there early this morning. far this week. This was Robert Allenby at the par 3 13th yesterday. 232 yards with a 5 wood of perfection. It is. He plays a cut. He normally draws the ball. He hits a little cut with the 5 wood and just could not hit a better shot. In fact, the minute he struck it and it was in the air, somebody in the gallery said, go in the hole, which nobody's ever done. And of course it did. First ever recorded ace in history of the PGA Tour events at the rally. Martin Floor is among those on the 125 bubble. Watch this at 16 as he tries to qualify for the playoffs next week and to keep his card. A hole in one at 16 for Martin Flores, and he moves to 123 in the FedEx Cup standings. This was just earlier today, Jonathan Bird. 135 yards to the hole, very short, gettable par three to say the least. <laughs> Perfection for Jonathan Bird. Whoa. <laughs> Jonathan Bird trying to navigate this 211 yard hole. Wind swirling. He's played over par each of the last two years. since 2004 in round two by Swedish National. Oh, we huh? another look. He has a beautiful compact swing and aggressive rhythm, and he liked this all the way. Fantastic. And another look. Looked as if it was going to be close. And disappears. Thank you very much. Take that, guys. It was a remarkable calm. Oh my God! Reaction. What's that? Oh What's that dog, Peter? He couldn't see it. He couldn't believe it. He's got his son looking on. He's got Jeff Overton looking on. He's at a par three. Come on, Kurt. <laughs> How about it? Yes. Second hardest hole on the golf course yesterday. Made a hole in one of the PGA Tour event as an amateur. Tremendous. I mean, how good is that? Nicholas Thompson, after having made a double eagle at the 11th, a two on the par five, par on the next hole, and now just a sky high seven. Oh, yeah. Sindelar, he has one over par. Watching it, likes it, coming back down the hill. <laughs> Hole in one, yes indeed. Shot ball 
raising it, 17 with a nine iron. Go in, go in. I guess you'd maybe have to call that an A single. The sixth hole in one in competition at the 17th is once again the Island Hole provides great theater here on the stadium course. Paul Casey on the tee at the par three 15th. Dislocated shoulder at the start of the year, so he's not played much. This while we're in commercial break. And Casey over par. How about the ace? Yes! Yes! Okay! Well, I will have caddy! That was the greatest reaction of a caddy I've ever seen. How could I not? <laughs> Wait, two cops is my witness. Three cops! You know, un unfortunately, the car giveaway is back at 13. Oh. So he might think that he's going to be driving away in that. I think he's just found that out. Yeah. And he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Casey oh. just told him it's at 13, not here. Poor guy. That other one looks pretty damn cool. Well, how'd you like to walk up to the green, hanging your head and, and being dejected after an ace? It was such a great celebration, though. He was like, I'm going to get it. He's going to give me the car. He's not even going to get a hubcap. He's just l lagging behind right now. <laughs> Classic. And that's still an ace. You can keep the ace. Yeah, you get the honor on the next hole. Oh, man. Let's go to the 18th. And Bud Colley having a good day. Oh my! Another one, a second ace of the day. Quicken Loans did not pay everybody. It's mortgage. Another fan gets their mortgage paid for a year. And Bud Colley has a new fan. Dramatic uh, 17th par three. Here's your leader, who earlier today here jumped out to take the lead in this tournament. 
with this shot. Brant Job on the tee at the par three. Hole cut on the right, long way away from the water, but there is a bunker there. And uh oh, uh oh. The ace for Brant Job. Yes, we may. For example, Stuart Sink stepped up to the 12th hole and made a hole in one with a four iron, the first hole in one on the PGA Tour this year. And then about 45 minutes later, Stuart Appleby with a five iron. We've had two holes in one on the same hole. Earlier today, well, one of the uh, very exciting things in golf at the 14th hole, par three playing 180 yards. This is Russ Cochran out of Paducah, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. You heard somebody yell at the tee, go in. That's exactly what it did. A hole in one for Russ Cochran. As with that shot, he moved to seven under par for this tournament. And not too often you get to high five uh, your partners out on the golf course, but when that particular stroke comes into play, that certainly is a time to do it. Our leaderboard now in the third round, Richard Zunkel, the Canadian, at 12 under par, defending champion Mark Brooks, one shot back along with Nick Price. Players today, as you notice, the asterisk next to Jay Haas's name. Chalmers with a pitching wedge, 135 yards. Don't get distracted by the view. And a beautifully balanced follow through he's watching this carefully and excuse me in consecutive groups a hole in one awesome the short par 3 14th KJ Choi is going to smash it with a pitching wedge and uh, he won't need to putt well it's the second ace on the PGA Tour. <laughs> it's first since 2001, I'm told. <laughs> Interesting scorecard. Double bogey to 11. But uh, he's now even par for the two par threes he's played. Summer Hayes. Now, earlier at the 16th, check out Ernie Els. Part three playing 176 yards. This is seven iron that finds the bottom of the cup for his 13th career ace, his fourth in competition. You wonder? Well, this is a skinny front edge. The, the front of the green is about 12 paces wide, max. Pin right on the front. This this was literally seconds ago. That's got my attention then. It does. Doesn't seconds it? ago, seconds ago. Oh yes! Oh. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> we opened the show with an ace. We've seen another one. Yeah. Mortgage, mortgage, mortgage is being paid left, right, and center. Quit. That's what happened in the opening round of the players. He didn't need any setup. You saw Sergio. You saw the atmosphere at 17. You knew something special was about to happen. Well, it was very cool for me, you know, to see an ace in any hole is awesome, but to see an ace, an ace in the 17th is. Iconic par three, always the star of the show, it was really special. And I got to see it firsthand. I was on the 16th green with Rory McIlroy and company, and 
Sergio made the strike. We saw the profile of the shot from the side. And when it left the club face, it just looked like it had one destination, and that was at the bottom of the hole. And, and Sergio was very cool about the whole thing. And, uh, of course, the crowds, they lapped that shot up. That hole, and speaking of Lucas Glover, are the guys in the truck any good? Dialing it up from Saturday. The man in Glover who doesn't wear gloves. Oh! The ace. What's that? Kevin Tway, Lucas Glover. Wasn't there a third this week? Grayson Murray. Grayson Murray. Amazing. Of course. A nice little Kodak moment at the Kodak Challenge Hole this week on tour. Three, 222 yards. Yeah, if you think that was good. It's one of the toughest holes on the golf course. Probably either rank one or two in degree of difficulty, but this man's going to help it out. Whoa! What a hole to make a one on. Coming off a three putt at the opening hole to make bogey and then the ace to get it to three under par. Here it is. You start thinking right now, boy, well, that's pretty good. Be right. He didn't say a word. You were put right at it. And when it lands, you think it can't. It cannot happen again. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> See the others. 2006, the last time it happened. Playing competitor and everybody else. Yeah, that's awesome. Pretty much. The six iron at number eight. He likes when he can tee it up, it looks like. He sure does. Just a little longer than the 13th hole dead center. That'll lower your score. <laughs> and he's moved up from 21st position to now making a run at the title. This is J.J. Henry who came to the fifth hole, sharing the lead with two others. Hit this pitching wedge at the par three and Henry Yes, indeed, a hole in one to take the lead. In with the honor here, it's always nice this other group gets to see some extra shots. And speaking of extra shots, we're going to make Gary Christian call all six of these here. Oh, shit, go in. Man, how lucky are you? Oh. Well, call it, will you? Take it from here. That's a whole other one for some JM. Perfect shot. Well, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? He just needed an audience. Thanks for that, eh? At the par three, this is Peter Malnati. Not having the best of days. Pretty looking swing, though. Looks a little like Luke Donald. Look at this. Can it be? Center cut for Peter Malnati. It doesn't get any better than that. How about a hole in one on Easter Sunday at Harbour Town? Well, a moment ago over at the party zone here at 16, where the gambling section is wondering whether or not Mike Spoza is going to hit the green with a seven iron. And you know what? He missed the green. That is not on the putting surface. I'm sorry, you lose. And the crowd here at 16 just explodes. This is the reason they come here. Spoza, birdies 15. Hole in one, eagle at 16, moves to minus three. What a shot. for welcome as he walked up to the green. And one of the great things in golf, just uh, I wonder what a, what a pitch, I better get that mark. David, surely you're not suggesting that <laughs> those who bet he would miss the green win that bet. Oh, I definitely hold up for that. That ball's not on the green, holds over.
We're beginning with a bang. Sean McKeel, the 03 PGA champion. Here on the 17th, the six iron from 197 center cut. And that's an ace. This is we started the show. Rio Ishikawa on the tee at the par three fourth. Well, this is amazing because they, 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 we got lift clean in place and for a moment that ball was stationary. Could have plugged in its own pitch mark, could have had a bit of mud on the ball. Maybe there was a bit of mud on the ball that helped it in the right direction. What's the odds on that then? Another par three tee shot, Lee Jansen. He liked this as soon as it left the blade, it was on a great line. Heading out west into the sun, he heard the roar immediately. Beautiful shot. And a very special hole on which to have a hole in one. Well done, Lee. Justin Johnson. On the tee, as we said, 207 yards. He gets up and nails it. Boom! That's in the hole, playing it with Henrik Stenson. Now bear in mind, this had been the set. All right, welcome back. And uh, this, while we were away, and already it was a good day for Matt Kuchar, but it got an awful lot better. Two up on Ross Fisher, and then at the par three seventh hole. 181 yards, lands it short. And you know where this is going. Yep. So here's the question. Moment on Friday for Derek Lamely at the 16th here at Sedgefield after winning in Puerto Rico last year. It's been a bit of a struggle for him this year, but in the second round, a perfect shot at the par 3 16th and an ace that uh, earned Derek vacations for life from Wyndham Worldwide. Derek was awarded a uh, Club Wyndham Access Vacation Ownership wins here in Asia. He'll defend next week. How about Danny Lee here at the short par three fourth? Playing 145 yards to win. I've got the flag today. I wonder if nine on is enough, Rich. It's perfect. And ladies and gentlemen, there is the first hole in one of the brand new FedEx Cup season, courtesy Danny Lee. 17, where I'm located, obviously, and that roar you heard. Oh, God was this shot right here. 210 yards with a hybrid. Two bounces and in for the one. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. From 10 under to 12 under. And a one on the card. And a little quick and long mortgage for somebody today. Ah, oh, they're loving it here at 17. <laughs> I've had 14 of them, and each one gets better than the last. Congratulations, DH. Great shot. The best shot from the opening round of the Arnold Palmer Invitational came from DA Points, who didn't like this six iron at all at the par 3-7. Imagine what his reaction would have been had he liked the shot, because it was perfect. DA was on point. The best shot from the second round of the Valero Texas Open came from Siwoo Kim at the 16th, 167 yards, 9 iron. It was the right club. Perfection for Siwoo Kim, who really poured it on late during Friday's round to surge into the weekend with the lead in San Antonio. Shot of the day from the final round of the QBE shootout. Par 3, fifth, Gary Woodland. There's his partner, Charlie Hoffman, watching. Walking away, and you know what, Charlie, your work here is done. Because Gary Woodland just aced it. That's a one. Nice. They would finish tied for third. Two shots back. The shot of the day in an exciting final round of the WGC HSBC champions goes to Thomas Peters on the par 312. Can you think what might happen? Here, look at this, our third ace in four weeks in the 2018-19 new season. 
the shot of the day at round one of the WGC HSBC champions, Louis Oosthuizen at the par three six. You might guess where this is gonna end up. It's tracking an ace for Louis Oosthuizen, the fifth hole in one of the season. The best shot from the second round of the CJ Cup at Nine Bridges, Paul Casey with a seven iron working the par three seventh. And this coming into a back pin, lands softly, tracking. And yes, it's in. An ace for Paul Casey, the second of the season, as he vaults to three under. Today on the eve of St. Patrick's Day, Ireland's Seamus Power, the 32-year-old at the third. Oh, playing 155. Put that one on the scorecard. An ace, just the fourth in the history of this event at the third hole. Pulled it a little bit, but I mean, it was a good shot. Gets a nice bounce here, no doubt. Yeah, hit twice in the rough. Watch this. This was in the third round on Saturday. Some love from the crowd, <laughs> and it also earned a scholarship for an Evan Scholar as well. That's that's fun. Worth a hundred thousand dollars there. All right, 16. Just a moment ago, Billy. And the flag is just Come over on. that bunker. Come on. And Melnati's calling for it and gets it. So carried away, you got to remember. Par three. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Par three. Dun, dun, Hang dun. on. Ben Martin on the tee, all square in his mat against Matt Kuchar. This was just a moment ago. It's in the okay. hole. Can't happen again. It's in the hole. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, oh I'm not kidding. <laughs> what? You are joking me. I, was, I wanted to scream out. He's got the wrong club. He's not hitting the four iron. Right? But I guess that's one a, a four metal now. This just happened at the 13th, 232 yard par three, Justin Thomas. Oh, how about that? How about the way it went in? Could have been over the back of the green. That might be the biggest bounce I've ever seen go into the pull out for the next one. More on the tee. Off, uh, Bernie back at 15 at two under. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh. Zinger, I know you had an ace here at 17, but it wasn't quite like that one. No, that, those are pretty. <laughs> You're aiming at it. This gets some very clever bounces out of the down slope of that bunker in the Kukuyu grass. That's why he was bagging just over the bunker. I mean, it made over that bunker an inch. You say nothing better, Gary. How many times have you had that occasion? Well, I've, I've made hole-in-ones, but, I mean, but not, you know, tournament. I've only made one.
right. Wow, that is the craziest line of holes. While we were away, this was what just happened in the Bahamas off the club of Alex Noren at the par 3, 1,781 yards. It's hard to be unhappy after that one. And you talk about capping off one of the craziest four-hole stretches in golf history. He went birdie at 14, eagle at 15, Triple at 16, ace at 17 for Alex Noren. He bounces from six to eight to five to seven under in a span of four holes. I think you ought to give him that yacht parked out in the uh, yeah, arena. Absolutely. At least. I mean, that is just a beautiful shot. Just takes that little check there, couple of hops, and in for Alex Noren. 36-year-old 18th ranked player in the world. And there's a look at what we're talking about, David. Look at the craziness there from 14 through 17. Unbelievable. So uh, there should be a motorcycle at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least one of those. One right? back on the tee. The difficult on the back right there for uh, for Calc. Chad Campbell wanted to get into the fun. Also, same shot, same hole, just a little high draw. Just a marvelous swing he has. Of course, while he was doing that. He's the bubble boy, came in at 100. This is six iron, believe it or not, and sold 207 yards today. And a little assist off the bank. Oh, yeah. And a tango for the Argentinian. He made a 40-footer just to make it to the Deutsche Bank Championship. That putt doesn't drop on the last hole last week. He doesn't have that hole in one. Stop one. Eastern time, three minutes ago, Rory Sabatini at the 16th. Someone called it out there, a whole one for Sabatini. Never had an ace before on the golf course and out at the ninth, where Ches Reeve had one a few days ago. Well, as good a ball striker as he is, it shocks me that this is his first one. <laughs> and he didn't know what to do. And then and Roy's like, is that your first one, really? Yeah, the caddy had an even bigger curve. Coming to 16, the par three with a nine iron from 146 yards. He flew at 148 though, Terry. That was the plan, Frank. First ever hole in one on the PGA Tour. And the seventh, actually that was the sixth. Two groups later, Craig Chalmers a hole in one at 60. And we've had seven at the Deutsche Bank Championship. This from JJ Spawn at the 16th. 207 yard par three playing downhill to a front right hole location. And this one is Perfect, and that's worth five points in this modified Stableford format. Stallings on the tee here at 13. Eight iron from 200 yards. This was just a moment ago. Very difficult left hole location. But no problem whatsoever for Stallings. There's the hole. Yes! Yeah! One, one bounce and then, Frank, how many hole-in-ones you had in your career, sir? Single digits, but I never saw them go in like that. <laughs> 
straight down the drain <laughs> pipe. That was awesome. What about you, Craig? Uh, I had six. What are you talking about difficult? Brown deer, 14th hole, 202 yard par three with a six iron. The ninth hole in one of his young life. Yeah, that's yours. And there's the scramble. Can't keep him out of the limelight. No, you can't. It's out in the lake. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Jack Nicholas leading the tournament at even par, 289. Mark Hayes, one over, won it last year. John Mahaffey, who has now faded from a position of contention as a result of problems today. John is eight over. Right on it. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. second hole in one we have had in the tournament players championship this year Greer Jones had one opening day at 12. My goodness. And Greer came to the locker room after his one Keith he was laughing so hard he said can you listen to the start he says I started six four one seven. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a phone number he said. <laughs> uh, that's great for little John there. He hit a good shot here yesterday, and it, he hit a four iron, he told me, after when it hit on the green, it jumped the trap, and he was lucky to make a four. Looked like he made up for it. Of course, that's Crenshaw's ball pretty close to the hole there. Yes, so it is. must have hit a very good shot. Mm -hmm. And Graham is not beyond uh, birdie range himself. He, that green has been putting decently all week long. But John Mahaffey, for this moment at least, is the man as he holds it out. At 15. A sobering thought. Does he have to buy drinks for the, for the house now? <laughs> yeah, does the insurance apply? <laughs> That's right. We need a ruler on this. Uh, uh, watch him enjoy. I think he could sell that to Lou Graham for a little bit right now. <laughs> I think so. Someday I'm going to have one of those. I've been flailing for 38 years and haven't had it yet, but the law of averages is gaining, I think. Well, it's always surprising when it goes. A bit too much break. Now at eight, Stricker. See the flag way back right. Started right. Is it coming back? I don't think he's happy with it. Well, he was leaning as if he really didn't like it. It's in the hole. He wasn't comfortable with that. He sure is now. He leads by two. Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. Six hard for Stricker. Five under for this front nine. The final round is underway at Colonial, and we've had a topsy-turvy day, and the lead has changed hands and has gone back to Webb Simpson, but there's been action like this. A one-hop hole-in-one for Brian Stewart just a short while ago over at the 16th. He's not one of the contenders here, but what a highlight for Brian Stewart, the winner in New Orleans a year ago. But look who's making the event and the consolation match. Yeah, even though... Uh... They're disappointed they didn't get to the championship match. There's a lot to play for. And this was just a moment ago. Hideto Tanahara with an eight iron, Dan. And he played it perfectly. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah, he 
Johnny, your comment was just a little late. <laughs> or early, I should say. Well, he says his putter's the favorite club in his bag, but guess what? He doesn't need it here. So he goes what? This was just a moment ago. Nick Taylor, tee shot, par three, 205 yards. Wants it to sit. And guess what? Somebody says go in the hole. Do it. Really? And somebody was right. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Now, how about that? He just came yeah. off an eagle at number five. So he's now eagle five and made hole in one at six. Make it a grab that? fast, huh? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would say so. So we've seen an amateur hole in one today. And now uh, Nick Taylor claims one for the video. We scrambled to get the video. Lee Westwood, the first hole in one since the tournament was held here with a nine iron from behind right now, Nick. And now from close up. Oh, a perfect one. Wasn't getting anywhere else. Third ace on this golf course, sixth one in tournament history. High fives all around for Lee. Two at hand saying, now what do I do? Thanks. He's got to go, got that for the half. He's over the weekend here, and this over at the eighth hole, Richie Warinsky. And a hole in one. Thank our friends from PGA Tour Live for providing that. Setting up a little left. Club face aiming a little right. An interesting squirm at that one. There you go. There you go. The best shot from the final round of the Puerto Rico Open comes from Austin Truslow at the par 3 16th, 202 yards, and this one disappears into the cup. A hole in one as he finishes in the top 10. We'll have a look. 203 yards to the cup for the second round. Playing with Fred Funk. Thank you very much indeed.
Shot of the day in the opening round of the QBE shootout. The fourth ace in this tournament's history. Charlie Hoffman had himself a day on the back nine, and this is a big reason why. He didn't even see it go in. That will be an expensive evening at the bar. Best shot from Friday at the Genesis Open came from J.B. Holmes at the par 3 sixth, a trademark hole with the bunker. Right in the middle of the green, J.B. avoided the bunker. Did he ever? How about that one? Perfection, an ace, and that got J.B. Holmes to seven under. Good for a share of the lead at the time. On the way to a round of 63. Be the right distance, he says. Was it ever? <laughs> and what a month it has been for the Guy Berger family, the Metropolitan Golf Family of the Year. Dad Al, brother John, coach at Pepperdine University. Their first family reunion in eight years. Of course, never won on the PGA Tour. Young Brent, 74 career events on the PGA Tour. A couple seconds. Been knocking at the door, played well at the Motorola Western Open a few weeks ago. And might this be the case? He said he hasn't been hitting the ball too solidly. Well, I think that iron shot at the 11th could have been hit more solidly. His tee shot yesterday, Doug Martin, with a five iron. Get out. Looks pretty good, Doug. You're right. He likes it. Oh, oh. It looks good. Oh. It is good. <laughs> that unbelievably was Doug Martin's 15th. Career. <laughs> As we go back to Merck, Hal Sutton. 195 yards. Four over par today at this point. Excuse me, the graphic says 205. I'm wrong. Good swing, this. Good position. Watch out. <laughs> you buy the drinks, Hal. You buy the drinks. Put a smile on his face after losing four shots to par and ace at 17. Eight under par. Noted football fan Wayne Levy out at the 12th, 211 yards. What do you think? Four, five iron? Well, this is probably a four iron today. Again, he's going to have to land the ball on the front part of this very difficult par three. As you can see, it hits and releases. I believe he's read the break just about right. And the hole in one for Wayne Levy. An ace out of 12. And the defending on the tee at the par three that measures 174 yards. This just a moment ago, Charles Rollerson with a seven iron. Middle left hole location has been very accessible today. And that's about as accessible as you can get a hole in one for Charles Rollerson. <laughs> from Danny Briggs, who noted the game as playing partners. So he moves to one under par. Right now, Gary, that's projected to be the cut figure, so uh, a huge swing of events there. Well, we see only two previous holes in one reported here at the TPC at Sugarloaf. Bill Blackmore in 97 on the second hole, and Jay Delsing in 97 as well on the 11th. Included. 
Peter, it's amazing to me. You always, when you make one, you always kind of peek over the edge just to make sure it's in there, you know? <laughs> That's <certain. laughs> ah, Great feeling. It's Bob Friend with a four iron. Hole location on the left. Firm hard green, tracking. Championship at this par 3 8th. Second hole in one of this championship so far. As you remember, Joey Sindelar had the ace at the Island Green at 17 yesterday. But folks, this is a plantation course in Kapalua, home of the Century Tournament of Champions. Let's kick off 2019 in style. What do you think? Seven off from 186. Pat Kazire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the 218 yard par three. Coke Rack coming off the birdie at 14. This is another big, difficult par three. Big, giant green that kind of has a, a hump in the middle. And what a shot by Jason Coke Rack. Is that going to go in? Yes! And Jason Coke Rack delivers the perfect ace. Now over the ninth, John Merrick. Well, I think this should be a very comfortable six on the jump. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You good? Enough. Go. Go. Oh, yeah. Seven. 179 yards. One of the great reactions you ever saw right here. He just won that sports car, that Nissan.